So after my skincare routine and my hair care routine, today I am finishing off this trilogy with sharing my nail care routine. For the first time in ages, I actually have a functioning nail care routine again. I am very bad with nails. I'm just gonna go out and admit it. I, this is always something I have tried to work on, but I think I'm just gonna have to accept that nails just aren't really my strong suit. <laughs> For the past few weeks, I have adopted a new strategy and that is to simply not paint my nails. Since the summer, pretty much, I have not painted my nails anymore, except for a few days here and there. Uh, but in general, I haven't painted my nails anymore. I have been using a strengthening treatment. For some reason, over the summer holiday, my nails grew a lot longer than they have in a very, very long time. And I feel like they are much stronger as well. They haven't peeled so much and they don't break as quickly as they used to. So I can get away with wearing my nails a little bit longer, which I am super happy with because I used to wear my nails long all throughout my teenage years. I really like slightly longer nails, not, not too long, but just a little bit long. I feel like it looks very nice and feminine. Just like my skin and hair routines, my nail routine is super simple, super basic. I use very budget-friendly products and materials. So yeah, if you want to know how I do my nails nowadays, then keep on watching. So this is what my nails look like at the moment. They are in pretty good shape, but not perfect. I'm not sure how much of this really translates on camera, but this nail is broken. Or <laughs> it's not broken, I sharpened my knives yesterday and yeah, then this happened. I ended up cutting into my nails. So there's a little bit coming off right here. And then some of my nails have started to peel, which is kind of a sign to me that they have gotten too long and need a little bit of a trim. You can see the peeling here, for example, that little bit of a darker bit right there. You can see it pretty well on my thumb here, starting to peel. And I have it on this index finger as well, a little bit has peeled off there. So it is time to shorten my nails. They're also kind of going out of the shape that I like them in. So I'm just gonna take you through my kind of standard routine. Right now I am wearing a little bit of a polish residue still, so I'm gonna start by taking that off first. And I use a acetone free nail polish remover. The brand doesn't really matter much to me, I'm using this one currently. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that onto a cotton pad. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't always do this. Very often I will just paint over this with a new layer of um, nail polish again. And I'm not even using real nail polish, I use like this treatment type stuff. It's kind of like a clear polish, but it's yeah, really just more like a treatment. Right now, just for the sake of the video, I will remove the old nail polish first. Now, part of the reason why I think my nails have suddenly grown so much longer and stronger is that I've pretty much stopped wearing nail polish for weeks and weeks on end. And I think not wearing nail polish and especially not using nail polish remover so often has really helped my nails grow a lot stronger and longer. All right, so now that they are there. Usually the next thing I will do is file them into shape. So I use one of these glass nail files. I like those best. They're nice and durable, they last a long time and they do the job. So something that really helps with the shape of your nails is to actually file the sides. And I don't know why I never kind of realized that I could file the sides. I just always thought it was obvious, you know, that you only file the top of your nails and that's that. But no, it actually really helps if you file the sides. It just helps make the nail look longer and slimmer, I guess, and just a lot more elegant and flattering. So I definitely do do that. I will start by filing the sides of my nails and I kind of go from side to side to make sure that it is all symmetrical. And I've noticed that filing your nails into a kind of thinner shape makes your fingers just look a lot more slim and feminine, I guess. So once I get the sides, I will start to work towards a shape that I like. And since I'm currently not wearing any nail polish, I think the most flattering shape on kind of natural nails is a little bit of a rounded kind of oval shape or maybe almond if you can get away with it. I personally like a bit of an oval shape the best on myself. So I think that's what I'm going to go for today as well. All right. So I think that's about the shape that I like. Length looks good as well. So then what I do is I kind of slide my file across the bottom to lift up any nail that might have kind of folded under and then I just go across 
the edge like that. So that is this nail pretty much done. I'm happy with the way it looks now. So I think I'm gonna move on to the next one and do all of my nails in the same way. And I'll be back to show you the next step. All right, so here are all my nails filed. As you can see, not all nails are exactly the same size, but this is about a realistic length I can keep my nails in with a little bit of space to grow. And as long as the differences aren't too big, I am okay with this. So next up, I take one of these cuticle pushers and I use that to gently push back my cuticles. I feel like this makes a huge difference even when nails aren't painted, or maybe especially when nails aren't painted, it just makes them look a little bit more groomed and again, helps to make them look longer. By the way, hats off to you if you're watching this, because I have no problem doing this to my own nails, but I can never watch anyone else doing it on themselves or on someone else. I just, I can't. <laughs> All right, there we go, that's that. And now the next thing I do is apply a little bit of that kind of nail treatment, clear polish thing that I've been using. And I've been using, here we go again, the Kruidvat in-store brand. It's that um, drugstore that I have near me that makes the really good in-store brand things. So this is the Complete Care 8-in-1 nail treatment and I have been using this for a few months now. Yeah, it's a nail treatment and I feel like it's doing good things for my nails. And on top of that, it also provides a nice shine on my nails. So I just apply that. Just a thin layer. Now, another reason why I'm kind of happy not painting my nails anymore really is that i'm just really bad at it i don't know if you can see but i'm going over my cuticles like left right and center i have never been able to paint my nails properly it never really looks good on me plus the nail polish just chips off so quickly i used to do this i mean i i don't think i have ever been able to make a nail polish last longer than two days maybe and that was really exceptional. Usually it's chipped within a day. I got gel polish done professionally once and that lasted for two weeks, which was absolutely miraculous. Like normal nail polish, I can never make it last. And that's also because not only will it chip, but my nails will just peel off with the polish. So yeah, when I'm not wearing any, I don't really have to worry about that. I'm also really lazy with my nails. Um, I'm able to do this like once or twice a week maximum and that's because this is a nice and short routine especially if I don't have to remove this polish first and I just go over with the second layer it's really nice and quick because I just I really can't be bothered <laughs> I'm so lazy with my beauty routines I feel like this way my nails look nice and groomed you know without requiring a lot of upkeep so something I have also noticed since I've stopped wearing nail polish or I've only been wearing this kind of treatment stuff is that the color of my nails is really nice I feel like my tips are really nice and bright whereas at first when I used nail polish they were a lot more yellow and kind of stained I give this a few seconds to dry and then I will go over with a cuticle oil and I've been using this one by Shul and I just kind of apply that to my cuticles and I just apply a nice and generous layer now my cuticles do tend to get really dry and they do tend to tear as well so it would be good for me to do this a little bit more often but again I just can't really remember to do it it's not really a part of my daily routine so I'm happy if I can do this once or twice a week after I have done my nails so still better than nothing I feel like but that's why I also don't skimp out on this and apply a nice and generous layer whenever I do remember to apply it. So I will leave that to soak in for a few minutes and then after that I will rub it in and apply a hand cream and that is pretty much my nail routine at the moment. And that leaves me with something like this. So like I mentioned I'm very very happy with the way my nails look now. I feel like this is the best they have looked in years and years and years and I'm still not entirely sure what did it but you know whatever it is it works <laughs> and I will be very glad if I'm actually able to keep them this way now I'm wondering guys if there is any kind of like golden tip that you have for nail care something that really helps you grow your nails longer or make them stronger or stop them from peeling if you have any you know kind of magic tip like that and please leave them in the comments below and hopefully we can create like this database of amazing nail care tips so thank you for sharing if you do have an incredible tip to share with us i really hope you enjoyed this little video guys if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content if you'd like to support me on patreon there's a link in the description box below thank you so much for your support there's another video here that you may also enjoy you can go watch next thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye